Hello and welcome to part two of my BlackBerry I Switched. I'm Slick and this part two will be a continuation of last time where it's just more of a general use case of the phone. I realized after reading some basic tips on BlackBerry 10 that if you hold the camera button down here for long enough, it'll open the camera app. One thing that I noticed that I thought should be implemented and wasn't implemented is the notifications along this left side which look very similar to the camera button. Um, if you hold them, nothing happens. And if you just keep kind of doing it, the BlackBerry will eventually tell you to just swipe up to unlock your phone. It would be nice if, like the camera app, if I held one of my notifications, it would open the app that corresponds with that notification. This is something I didn't notice right away, but for a different reason. Um, this is not my SIM in this phone. This phone is given to us by Bell, so it's a different phone number and everything, so I was avoiding calling people and texting because I didn't have contacts in my phone, or so I thought. When I linked Gmail with my phone, it grabbed all my contacts with Gmail um, almost without me noticing, which was great. I'm not saying anything bad about that. And perfectly listed all of them, had all their information like it was great. I guess that's more on Gmail side, but it was still great on BlackBerry. So since then, I've used the phone's uh, calling and texting features much more, and there's nothing really to note. Um, this is more on Bell's side instead of BlackBerry. I haven't had any service issues anywhere that I've been. Um, and everything else has been fine. As a general observation about the BlackBerry experience, now this is not the heavy use experience. That will be next episode and the next and the episode after that. Um, I find I, I spend less time on my phone, um, but not because I don't necessarily enjoy the phone. It's more because I come on my phone, I go to Hub, I check everything I need to, and then I just feel like I'm done. On Android, I would find that as I'm going through apps and going individually to each app that I want to see and going through all my information, checking everything, I would spend more time. On this, I get everything I need to and I get out. So it, I guess it kind of depends on what you want. Do you want to spend that much time on your phone? Some people do. I'm not actually sure at this point. I, I like the experience of my Android phone where I can jump on and each individual app is there and all that kind of stuff, which you can also do on BlackBerry. But the awesomeness of the hub is that everything that you need to know, every direct notification that you have is always there. So you can just quickly go through all the important things and then just be done with your phone, which is also kind of relaxing. I used the music player a bit and it was fine. Nothing really interesting to note. But one thing that I did notice is that the phone has I believe it's 16, 16 different volume levels. So as you're going through the volume rocker, there's 16 stops, which is kind of awesome, actually. My S3 has seven, I believe. Yeah, my S3 has seven. So you wouldn't think that's that big of a deal, but for fine precision, if you want it to be very quiet, but it's maybe a quiet video, so you need some things to be audible, or if you want it to just be super loud, but not quite as loud, it's actually kind of nice to have that many stops in the volume knob. We talked about this last time a little bit, but one thing that I really don't like personally about the BlackBerry experience so far is the rotate. Um, it goes really slow, as you can probably see there. I got comments saying that that might be by design, but if it is by design, it's not a design that I personally like. Some people might like it, I don't. You have to wait a while. I like snappier auto-rotates. Also, it works well in some apps. It doesn't work that great in other apps. And in your recently used app section, it will save if it was rotated or not. So it just becomes a hassle in my opinion. So I usually just go into the drop down in the top and put rotation lock on so that it won't rotate. But then if I restart the phone in any way, it resets that setting. So I'll reset the phone or it'll die and I'll charge it back up or something, turn it back on and then turn my phone and it'll rotate. And it's just really annoying. One thing I don't like is when using stuff like the hub, if you send an email or something, it always attaches a, this was sent from my, I think it was, this was sent from my BlackBerry 10 smartphone. Uh, a lot of different things have done this in the past, but I really don't like it. I go through and manually delete it every single time. So I guess it's not that big of a deal, but I, I really don't like that. So BBM is cool. Being able to see if your messages are read are cool. Um, everything that comes with BBM is cool, but the fact that I only know two people that have Blackberries makes it not very cool because there's not very many people that I can actually do it with. Um, but that being said, I think a day or two ago, BlackBerry announced that they're going to be releasing BBM apps for Android and iOS. So that might make Black <laughs> BlackBerry Messenger cool again. I don't know. I just don't have that use case yet. Hopefully it gets released soon. They said sometime this summer. 
So far, now keep in mind this is being said from a very basic use point. The next two videos will be more advanced. I'm gonna sideload Android apps. I'm gonna do a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, I currently would not really recommend this phone to someone. Now, again, this is, I have not used Android sideloaded apps. I'm completely ignoring that whole part of BlackBerry, just the stock use case. I would not necessarily recommend this to someone who enjoys spending a crazy amount of time on their phone. Not that it's bad for that, but I feel like the best use case for this phone is someone who wants to be able to jump on their phone and instantly check all their notifications and then be done. Because it excels so much at that, I would recommend it to people that have that use case scenario, people that are very busy, uh, people that are into business and need to be able to check things really quickly and then get back to a meeting or whatever they're doing. That's awesome. Um, but the comfy, fluffy experience that is Android and iOS, or not iOS so much because I don't know iOS, but at least Android, um, it's not the same. The browser seems all fine and good. Uh, I haven't done actually speed test benchmarks on it or anything, but it seems not too slow, but also not exactly that fast. Although I do like it how it manages tabs. So in the bottom left hand corner, there's a little button that says exactly how many tabs you have open. Bop that over, it comes over from the left, and then you can quick, one big thing with tabs that I like is being able to quickly close them. So if you bop it over from here, you can just press the little X and quickly close your tabs. So far, I really like the typing experience on BlackBerry. The autocorrect of swiping up from a letter to go with the next word that corresponds with that letter is nice once you get used to it. At the beginning, it's kind of weird because you have to go slow so that you can kind of get used to when it's gonna pop up, but then when you get used to how it acts, it can be quite quick, especially if you're typing with one finger. Personally, I have very large thumbs, so I cover up a lot of the keyboard while I'm typing. So if I'm typing with two fingers, I can't really see the word that's gonna pop up above the letter. So sometimes it doesn't work that great, but if I'm typing with one finger, it's awesome. It makes me go way faster, way, way, way faster sometimes. One big complaint though, is if I wanna type a word that it doesn't like, say awesome sauce, but with no space. If I want that to actually go through, so I don't want a space in between the words awesome and sauce, I have to swipe up from the space bar because the space bar is going to automatically try and correct simple mistakes like no space between awesome and sauce. So if I press space bar, it goes awesome space sauce. If I swipe up, it goes awesome sauce, one word. But swiping up from the spacebar with a very large thumb will very often close my texting app. Because of how BlackBerry acts, swiping up from the bottom closes your app. Now, it's not supposed to because in theory, you're just swiping up from the spacebar, but my thumb is huge. I don't like, I have large hands. So often, no matter how hard I try, I'm swiping the whole app away. So sometimes even if I'm typing with my thumbs, I have to reconfigure how I'm holding the phone and swipe up from the spacebar using my pointer finger so that I can actually do it accurately. This might not be a problem for everyone, but it's really annoying for me. One thing with BlackBerry that caught me off guard was the StoryMaker app. It's the only time that I felt BlackBerry actually stepped outside of their element. The whole time you're using the phone, it feels very professional, very clean cut. And then you step into the StoryMaker app and you just pick a whole bunch of random photos, pick a song, and it makes us a fairly nicely animated slideshow with for you with fairly professional looking intro and outros. Um, then I got to thinking and realized that it's fairly professional looking. It's not super flashy, it's fairly professional looking. <laughs> so um, my theory behind this is that you're running late for a meeting and you need a slideshow so you can just make a little slideshow on there. So that basically concludes the ending of my standard use case scenario for this phone. Next week, I will be doing a lot of sideloading Android apps. And very recently, as some of you have told me, and I found out myself, Skype actually finally released their official release of their Skype app. It's no longer in beta. So I'll be trying that as well. Um, comment below on anything you would like me to do for next BlackBerry I Switched. Comment about anything you liked or disliked about this video. And please subscribe.